Hey everyone, PJ here. Today, I want to talk about a criminal who is notorious. Not because of what he did, but because of his name. That name being Bizao Doo Doo Zoppity Bop Bop Bop. No cap, that's his actual name. Because apparently this guy was named by Bill Cosby. But who is Bizao Doo Doo Zoppity Bop 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 exactly? What makes this man so interesting is his name, but I want to dig a little deeper into his character. Apparently, he was born with the name Jeffrey Wilsch. In 2012, Bizao was arrested for allegedly carrying a concealed weapon, possession of marijuana, and numerous probation violations. A year later, he was arrested again on drug charges. The most recent arrest I could find was back in 2016 for allegedly assaulting a police officer. He reportedly went schmiegel mode on his ass and tried to bite his finger off, and even tried to stab him with a pen. He has been treated for schizophrenia, but he claims to actually suffer from depression and PTSD. After his first arrest, B. Zhao went on to explain the meaning of his bizarre name. My name stands for the explosion of awareness and interconnectedness of the infinite love of the universe. Doo Doo was a struggle of our daily lives with that awareness. That with love comes chaos, and Zoppity Bop 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 is the outcome of that struggle, which is often ironic, especially because all life ends in death. You philosophical little shit. I eventually found out this guy has an official Facebook page. It hasn't been active since 2019, but from what I've read, this guy is a raging incel. A message to my new 30 or so friends. I have carefully selected you from hundreds of friend requests for one reason. You don't seem like perverts or crazy people. I'm only Facebook friends with men because I'm tired of women and feminists, and I need to cultivate a friend's base of compassionate, shrewd men who agree with me. I'm having a hard time with Facebook right now. I appear to be being watched closely by a bunch of uptight slobs who don't understand me at all. They are blocking my posts and blocking me from posting. They are irrational and out of line. I sometimes think of formatting a legal case to take this to court. This is absolutely unacceptable. I hope that you find my posts inspiring. I don't know if Sheryl Sandberg is a culprit, but today I'm making a meme of her that says hooker because I'm outraged by Facebook censorship. Rest in peace, Cheryl Sandberg. Sleep with gargoyle pride. Yeah. This guy also posted a bunch of women being burned to the stake with absolutely no context whatsoever. Among these, he's also been shown to be anti-Semitic, pro-fascist, and a supporter of the far-right movement, so make of that what you will. What started as some guy with a weird name led me down this rabbit hole, but sadly this is as far down that rabbit hole as I can get, and honestly I don't really care to go further at this point. What do I think? Personally, I think behind his funny name is just your typical incel on the internet. Before I end this video off, I just want to say this. Please don't go and harass this guy. He's probably not even going to see it anyway since, again, his Facebook page has been inactive since 2019. So in addition to making you look like an asshole, it's also pointless. But as always, my name is PJ, and I am going to go get ice cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.